today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Harry Potter dolls. That's right, I found two more! Score! Harry Potter and Ron Weasley. Dumbledore and McGonagall, I'm coming for ya! That's right, we found Harry Potter and Ron Weasley at Walmart for $20.97 each for ages 6 and up. On the front of the box, you can see the pictures of the actors. I think they did a really good job on capturing Ron's likeness. On the back of the box, there is a picture of the doll along with a short description of the character. Fellow Gryffindor Ron Weasley becomes Harry's first friend at Hogwarts. With a shock of ginger hair and good-natured humor, it is Ron's loyalty that makes him an instrumental ally in the quest to defeat Lord Voldemort. Now let's take a look at Harry. On his 11th birthday, Harry Potter learns that he has been invited to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Placed in the Gryffindor house, Harry must rise to many challenges while realizing that he is the only one who can stop Voldemort's dangerous return to power. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get these guys out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, it wasn't too difficult to balance them on a flat surface. Both boys are wearing their Hogwarts uniforms, a long sleeve gray shirt that is printed to look like a sweater, with yellow and red trim for Gryffindor. It even has a little printed tie and an attached collar. They have on dark gray khaki pants and everything Velcros in the back. They wear black shoes come with wands that attach to the finger. Harry has a dark brown wand, sculpted hair, and you can even see his little lightning bolt scar right there on his forehead. His glasses can be removed and there are two small holes on the side of his head for the glasses to fit into. Ron's wand is a lighter brown. He also has sculpted hair. And uh-oh, what's that? Oh no! I have a factory defect. There are some little air bubbles on the side of his nose. Aww. We'll just make sure to only photograph his good side. These dolls are fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. And they both come with robes. The sleeves are nice and wide for the arms to fit through. However, it's a pretty stiff material. Can probably even make it look like it's flying. No, it doesn't want to do that. What about the hood? Can we get it to go lower? Nope. We'll just leave that down. They stand a little over 10 inches tall and they just look so happy. Probably because it's craft time. Let's take the back of their box and build a mini room. First, remove all of the packaging. I have to pull it apart to remove the plastic bits from the inside. Then I use glue to make it lay flat. Cut poster board or another piece of doll packaging that is the same size. Cover it with scrapbook paper. And I'm going to use the other half of the picture that I use for Jenny's backdrop to make another window. Cut a 6x8 piece of recycled cardboard. Cover with scrapbook paper to make the floor. Glue the window scene onto the back of the box to make the wall. Glue the wall to the floor. Add a couch and a pillow to make a scene to mirror Jenny's. When we slide them together, we get one large window. Since this side is for Ron, let's add some of our doll candy so Ron has something to munch on. We have candy boxes from our doll candy shop video. A small bag of beads is very colorful. Maybe he left his lollipop on the couch. And a candy apple. I don't have chocolate frogs, but I do have a chocolate bunny video. And something tells me that Ron isn't too particular. 
Ooh, let's have one that is partially opened. With all that candy, I think Ron will be pretty happy. Yep, he looks happy. Now let's make room for Harry. I prepare the back of the box just as before. I cut a piece of poster board and put the scrapbook paper around the edge. Because we're gonna give Harry our hot glue fireplace from a previous video. Before I attach the fireplace, I glue the poster board to the box, make a floor, glue the wall to the floor, then glue on the fireplace. I printed out the book cover for our Perry Hopper book, cut out the crest, glue it onto cardstock, cut it out, glue it above the mantle onto the fireplace for a school crest. Place a few twigs inside the fireplace for firewood and one of our cauldrons from a previous video. We can place another one on the outside, cut a circle of clear plastic, use a washable marker and color it, add a drop of glue, mix it up and allow it to dry, place an LED light inside of the cauldron, place the green circle on top to give it a green glow. That's kind of cool. Add our glue stick candles that we made in a previous video by cutting a large glue stick. Use the end of a hot glue gun to melt it. Add black thread to make easy candles. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. Add an owl, this is by Schleich, to make Harry a background. Ooh, maybe we can add a broom too from our How to Make a Doll Broom video. Now, let's add all of our displays together. I'm going to place Ron and Ginny on the side of the fireplace, and we can place Hermione on the end. And with all of the sets together, we have our very own Frogwarts common room. Measuring 32 inches across. And I'm going to add these Beauty and the Beast accessories to be treasures around the room. And I use the back of the box to make a picture to hang in the room. Now that's too funny! Hanging a picture of Belle to go in my Harry Potter room? Hmm. Oh, come on! It's like an Easter egg! Overall, this is a really fun space. We were able to make our own Frogwarts common room displays for the dolls while recycling. Thank you for joining us while we had a little fun in the Wizarding World. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we'll see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.